Okay, so troubleshooting the Renergy DC-DC charger. We have the 40 amp version, you might have the 20 amp version, doesn't really matter. Okay, so first I want to quickly talk about setting up your DC-DC charger. If you look at the instructions, they tell you that you have to run a positive and a negative to your battery. That is not the case. You don't have to do that. It's probably recommended, it's probably best practice. But as you probably know, the negative on the starter battery of the car goes to ground. It goes to the car's chassis. So, for us, the negative on our starter battery was fused. It was one unit. So we didn't want to have to solder on or weld on another piece of metal. We just bolted it to the chassis in the back. Our first issue with our charger was it started blinking red. That was after we had to take out the entire system and then put it back in and on the reinstallation we got a spark and a pop at the grounding point. And after that it started to blink red. Now naturally we tried to recouple everything, undo everything and redo it and nothing worked. So what we ended up doing was we contacted Renergy, we didn't really get the response we wanted, they just sent us a instruction manual and nothing else. So what we ended up doing is that we actually bought a new charger, a brand new charger. Uh, so we plugged it in um, and as we were gonna start using it, we got a green flickering light, not a red pulsing light, but a green flickering light. Uh, which was, we didn't know what that was, so we undid everything again, and we contacted Renergy, and they again didn't really give us a response. So I did a lot of investigating on my own, and with the green flickering light from googling a little bit about other DC-DC chargers, I came to the conclusion that it was probably a grounding issue. Same with the red flickering light. Eventually we actually got a response from Renergy saying that the green flickering light might be because of a bad connection on your D plus uh, 12 volt. Uh, so they recommended to just hook that up to right to the starter battery, the positive side on the starter battery. Uh, and when we did that it actually worked. But what I'd also done is that I had reseeded the ground to the car chassis. Uh, and what I mean by reseeded is that I had taken out the bolts and put it back in. That's all I did. So at that point it was working. It was working fine. It was glowing steady green. I did some more tests. I took out my fuse and I put the fuse back in and I got another pop at the grounding point. And then again it started blinking red. So again all I did was take out the ground, put the ground back in and it worked. So I am not an electrician at all, I just want to make that clear. But somehow the ground gets bad, I guess? I don't really know. But this may be something that you can do to fix your issue. Uh, because Renergy... I'm not bashing Renergy in any way. After a while we got some really good customer service. I, I called them, I talked to them, they were really friendly. But all their solutions seems to be send it back so we can fix it while I want basically DIY, this is the way you can fix your device. Uh, obviously they don't want to do that, but when you're living in Sweden, having to ship the charger all the way to the US is not really, it's not really an option. So to sum up, if you have a green flickering light or a red pulsing light, don't throw your charger away, don't send it to Renergy, first try unscrewing your ground. If you have it grounded to somewhere else on the car and not the starter battery, Unscrew that, screw it back in, or if you have it grounded to like a bolt or something, unscrew it, find a different grounding grounding point, and screw it in there, and try it again. What you can also do is undo your D+, plus wherever you have that, and, and put it right to the positive side of the starter battery. Okay, so I hope I gave you a few ideas of what you can try on your charger if you have these issues, and I wish you good luck with fixing your issue. Bye.